What's up my beautiful cheekities? Welcome to today's diary entry and welcome back! I just got back from my vacation from Thailand slash California so I am so happy to be back and for those of you that followed me on Snapchat, which if you don't, I su highly suggest that you do, Oh my goodness, you all know how much fun it was and I'm so glad I was able to take so many of you on my vacation and I'm so glad so many of you were so happy to see that and were encouraging me to do so many, many, many more things and were so nice and friendly throughout the whole thing. I was so happy with the fact, with, with all the nice comments that you guys were sending my way on Snapchat. So thank you so much for that. You guys are all so sweet and I love y'all so much. Mwah. But without further ado, you clicked on this video because you want to see what I got from Louis Vuitton. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So once again, those that follow me on Snapchat got to see me go into the Louis Vuitton store and pick up what I have here. But I didn't share with you guys what I got because I wanted to film this video letting you guys know my whole experience and how it was. And here it goes. So I had been wanting to buy a Louis Vuitton um, item. I'm just going to say item for now until I show you guys what it is. Um, for quite some time now. I know that I have my Neverfull, which is right here. Um, which I will do a full video all about this Deborah Fool and other purchases that I've made um, that are Louis Vuitton items, but I did not purchase them at the Louis Vuitton store. So, I'm running out of breath. What the heck? So, anywho, um, I have been wanting to get a Louis Vuitton item, and um, I just, I was thinking about it, and I was like, maybe, should I, should I not? I'm like... Okay, once I made my decision to finally do it, because I have a Louis Vuitton store here in Scottsdale, Arizona, but I did not want to go there. I've been to that store a couple times, and I just didn't get that vibe. It wasn't like a welcoming vibe. It wasn't like a, hi, like, we sell really expensive stuff. Like, can we really kiss your butt so that you can actually buy something? No. And I wasn't expecting people to, like, kiss my butt and be like, oh, my God, are you going to buy something and this and that. But I did want this, the experience to be special. I mean, this is something that is pretty expensive. And I want it to be a lifetime experience. Does that make sense? I really hope I'm making sense when I say that. So, anywho, I decided to just do it in California. Because I knew I was going to go to California and stay with my friend Aide after I went to Thailand. So, I kept telling her, should we go to the Beverly Hills Center? I, I hear that they're very nice there and this and that. And my friend was like, you could, but I would highly suggest going to the, what, what was the mall called? Oh my goodness. Uh, South Coast Plaza is where she's set to go. Now, I've never been to this mall before, so I had no idea what it was all about. But once we got there, I was like, okay. I see Dolce & Gabbana, I see Prada, I see all kinds of expensive stuff, so I just decided, okay, let's go see the Louis Vuitton store. And when we went, we went like 30 minutes before closing time. I was, I was like, today's the day, we're gonna go, let's just go. I don't care if we make it 30 minutes before, I just wanna do it. <laughs> so we went in and sure enough, they're very nice. They're like, hi, how are you doing? And I said, I knew what I wanted. So I specifically said, I'm looking for this and that. And they're like, absolutely, just show up here and we'll be able to help you out. The lady was very nice and friendly. Um, she answered all my questions. And I was very specific with what I wanted. And she knew where I went right away what I was talking about. I was afraid that that was going to be an issue. But it wasn't at all. So, without further ado, let me show you what I got. So, I, before I show this, I just want to say, disclaimer, I should have said this earlier. I'm not showing this item to be all braggadocious and say, oh my god, I got a Louis Vuitton. This is kind of like a something that I wanted to spend my money on because I, I go through these items quite often and I wanted it to be a piece that was very memorable, that is very unique and at the same time lasts me a long time to where I can pass it on to my, you know, 
I don't know, my daughter maybe one day. I wanted something to last me a long time. And that's why I went for this. Anywho, this is the pretty bag it comes in right here. Um, they recently changed their packaging. It used to be in like a brown, dark brown um, bag, but they recently changed it to this, which I actually really like it a lot. I'm not going to lie. I think it's very pretty and it looks a little more, I don't know. I really like this color. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm kind of nervous right now. What is wrong with me? So once you open it up, they packaged it up for you really pretty. So see, it says Louis Vuitton right there, and I'm holding it wrong. So right here, can you see that? It says Louis Vuitton. And then down here is where you open it up. And there is my item right there. So let me take it out to show you. So it comes in this dust bag. And about this dust bag, oh my goodness. So funny story. When I picked up my item because I had to leave it because I wanted to get heat stamped, um, I left it overnight and then I picked it up the next day after 3 p.m. They told me to come back. Well, when I went to pick it up, I got everything. I actually went and did a little more shopping um, at other stores. And then when I left, <laughs> I got in my car and something tells me, let me look at my box. I just want to see my item one more time. I was so excited. And something just told me, just look at it. And I noticed that it was just my item inside without a dust bag. So I was like, what? But no big deal. I went back in and they were like, we're so sorry. Let me get you a dust bag. And here's a dust bag. But without further ado, I know I keep teasing you guys. So let me show you. I got the Josephine wallet. Oh, I know. I know. So it was between this one and the Emily wallet. I was looking at the Sarah wallet and the Zip, Zip, Zippy wallet. Um, the Zippy wallet was just going to get on my last nerves. I, I just knew it. Having to zip that around every single time, it was just going to bother me. And I don't want the zipper to give out on me. So I was like, okay, no. And then the Sarah wallet, it's more of a mommy wallet, I guess you could say. It's just very full. And I don't want my wallet to be very like thick. I like this one, how simple it is and how it's envelope shaped. That's why I went for this one instead of the Emily wallet. So when you open it up, it looks like this. So it's got the pink on the inside. Um, and what I did is, oh, and I actually, let me show you. So it brings this little zippy here that you can actually take out. And I really like that because I like to put receipts in here or maybe I can use it for something else and just keep it in my purse. So I really like that and then it keeps that uh, opening free for me to put either money or even more receipts and other stuff. So I really liked that. But what I really liked most about it is they were able to heat stamp, I guess they call it embossing. So I got it embossed or blind stamping is what they call it. But as you can see, it's a VAQ right there. And you could either get it in this corner right here. I guess that you could they could put it anywhere in the wallet. I preferred it down here, but I've seen others put it up here in the middle and I didn't want that I kind of wanted it to be either right here on the side or down here on the bottom and that's what I did and I absolutely love the way it turned out I think it looks great so there it is here's my wallet and I am so happy with it you guys you have no idea I have yet to use it because I wanted to film this unboxing first but I just really really like all the all the pockets it has there's a pocket back here so I can put more things in there um, so I'm assuming maybe if I wanted to put a checkbook in it, it actually fits and I love that. Not that I use a checkbook that much, but sometimes you do want to carry it with you. So I have that option in there as well and then these two extra pockets and the zippy up here. So I can actually keep the change in it and not have the wallet actually be so heavy. And I really like that because I don't... Do you ever have wallets and the wallet is fine, but the outside right here is like all bulging with all your change? I don't like that at all. So that is one of the things I loved about this wallet. Not only that I can either use this for, um, for receipts, but I can also take it out and just use it for my change because I have this extra pocket in here where I can also put um, even more receipts. So I'm very, very happy with my purchase and yeah, that's, uh, there you have it. I got the Josephine wallet and they also have different colors for it. I think they, um, she showed me the orange and there was also this burgundy, um, kind of like a cherry color. 
and I actually preferred the pink. I was surprised because I honestly thought I was going to go for the um, the cherry color, but I did not. I actually asked if they had the, um, I think it was a, like a canary color, like a yellow, like a really light yellow. Kind of like this color right here. Kind of, can you see that? This yellow right here? It was kind of like that and I thought that was so pretty. So I asked and they told me no, they ran out of those quickly so they didn't have any. And I said, but they are online. And she said, yes, but the, if you see, it does say call to check availability. And it's true. Actually, I checked again and that color is not even showing anymore. So unfortunately, that color is discontinued. But I, nonetheless, I am very, very happy with my purchase. And uh, yeah, I, I hope I answered any questions you had as far as purchasing at Louis Vuitton or purchasing a wallet. If you have any questions for me, please make sure to leave them down below. And if I'm able to answer them, I will most definitely do so. But until next time, I will catch you on my next diary entry. I hope you have enjoyed this diary entry. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Un besote. Bye. Don't believe me, just watch.